Nice. We could have a wee whiskey, talk yeah. about some games, maybe our top five games of the year this year. Make it a short video because there's not much whiskey in there. Not much left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I we can talk about our top five games and okay. see, see in the bells that way. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. Right, so while I'm pouring this, what's our number five game of the year? So our number five game of the year is Ease 8. Ease 8. Lacrimosa of Dana. What's that? Lacrimosa of Dana. Like growing up, you remember when they were teaching you words? Right. So there was apple, mm. uh, brown, <laughs> cat, cat, Dana, uh, Dana, <laughs> Dana, <laughs> and then uh, like elephant, Fred, golf, uh, hotel, uh, indigo. Uh, jackfruit. It's funny seeing you commit to this. <laughs> jackfruit. <laughs> Kilogram. And, and then lacrimosa. lacrimosa. Right. Why is it good? Uh, why, is it, uh, why is it number five? Tell no, me. November. Tell, no. Uh, yeah. Why is it? Why is it number five? It's just such a great fun action RPG. Like Xenoblade Chronicles Two. Mm. But see, when you get really into it, you've got like layers of like special moves yeah. and elementals. Like. Pain in the ass, is what you're saying. Yeah, pain in the ass. Yeah. Certainly for folk who are maybe more casual yeah. to that kind of genre. Because, like, <laughs> well, because action RPGs are quite different to like, just the regular, like, right, my guys will line up here, your guys line up there, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we'll meet in the middle, have a fight, and then we'll back away. Uh, like, Final Fantasy style. Oh, 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 we're oh, we're oh, 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 is just a really straightforward version of that. You've got tons of exploration to do. You, you yeah. land on like this forgotten island, this like mythical island. Um, but it's just got this lovely wee story going on. Eventually you've got a dual narrative going on. You've got the kind of present day on the island. Mm. It's just really charming. The music's really good fun. The characters are fun and colourful. There's plenty of costumes and shit like that you can unlock, accessories and all that. And each character has their own nice distinctive fight styles. It's really easy to swap between characters on the go. So. I loved it. It's it's this year's Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Apart from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, <laughs> the DLC. Torna, the Golden yeah. Country, which I've not played enough of. Okay. My number four game of the year is Shenmue 1 and 2. Even though the music sounds like... You know that Jurassic Park video? <laughs> yeah, with the melodica, yeah. <laughs> It doesn't sound great. <laughs> 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 to the credit, they have fixed a lot of their shoot. There's still, been still things to be wrong here or there, but not enough, I think, to stop the true, the kind of core of the game, which is something really special and unique from coming yeah. through. Like, there's no game like Shenmue. Like, even mm -hmm. since even Yakuza, which is literally a Shenmue successor, there's no game like it. You know, nothing is interesting mm -hmm. and weird and. Yeah. Sort of boring, but also exciting at the same time. The fact that we get to play it now on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Mm -hmm. and obviously, the PC version is probably the one to go for because like the fans can patch it quicker than Sega can. But this looks the things, you know. Yeah, I think it's important because it's it's becoming harder and harder now. I think to play some older games, even if it's not the the perfect form, that it, yeah. it should have been. A, they're improving it, and B, it still means you don't need to faff about with either. Yeah finding a copy uh, yeah, online yeah, somewhere yeah. and then running it on your fucking computer like a dick yeah or trying to fix your game uh, your dreamcast i don't think you fix mine mine's just fine i thought the elizabeth busted no there's, there's no dash drive in it it's just an sd card so i found myself a wee copy Woo! <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> and what's funny is that noise only works it, <laughs> if you think about it, like it's kind of like the noise of the fucking Ecto-1 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our number three game of the year is of course Yakuza, Yakuza Kiwami 2, two. It's such a fucking good game mm. it's, it's, it's a from the ground remake of Yakuza 2, which, as we've said numerous times, is the kind of forgotten Yakuza game. It came out right at the fucking end of 
PlayStation 2's life cycle. But Yakuza 2 was very much kind of in this wee bubble where like second-hand copies were really expensive. Um, so it kind of again limited itself down. And now they're not. <laughs> What I like about what they've done with Kiwami and Kiwami 2 is it's like a wee best of. It's like, here's the story of this game, but then you get a best of look at all the features. Although, last thing I'll say about it, as a die-hard fan, it's weird that they've changed Kamurocho's layout. Like, the karaoke place is in the same place from Yakuza 6, but it shouldn't be there. It's weird that they kind of just... There's weird errors like that. Yeah. I mean, that's errors, like, listen to me talk. But uh, was a wee bit odd being like, like, yeah. Sega. 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 I know what I'm talking about. I know, but I know where the karaoke bar had camera. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would like to speak to your manager, Mr. Sega. Mr. Sega, I am disgusted to see the the fucking karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, fucking, the fucking karaoke isn't where it should be on Pink Street. <laughs> yes, I'll hold. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's, but other than that, it's uh, and that's a very little uh, and it, it doesn't fucking bother me or anything. It's, uh, it just made me very angry for uh, a short period of time. How but, about you? But it is our third game of the year. Yeah, probably uh, you. What do you it's just, it's, it's, I just think it's. <laughs> Yes, I'm still here! <laughs> How about our big number two? Our big number two is, of course, the ultimate. <laughs> Smash Brothers Ultimate. Uh, which is the biggest Smash Brothers game I think that's ever been made. It's, like, it's got mm -hmm. more ca all the characters and all the Smash Brothers It's a silly games. thing to say, but okay. What? It's the biggest Smash Brothers. Of course it's the biggest one ever made. Well, no, but the well, thing is, like, Oh. I'm only bamming you up. Okay. It's alright, calm down. It's fine, it's fine. All the characters, most of the three. <laughs> Is this Scott's mum? <laughs> I'd like to make a complaint about your stupid fucking son. <laughs> yes, I'll hold. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, that's the end of that. All feature. the characters, all the characters, most of the stages, yeah. are all new one player fucking JRPG mode where you mm. level up your. Uh, yeah. Wee guys to power you up and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's mental how much stuff's in it. And the and like the, the attention to detail, like I mean, have fucking Dracula yeah. is the, the boss in the Castlevania bits, and you can only hurt him by hitting him in the head. Yeah, it's amazing. The same as the game. Yeah. Um huge Ganon is brilliant fun. Yeah. There's just so many like fun, clever wee moments and there's a lot of care and attention going into it. Mm. I hope it's the last one because I don't think Sakurai I think could survive. Was, I know I could die if it was a <clears> one, so, um, yeah. But I don't know where they would go from here. I think it would just be constantly adding more yeah. to it. I feel like this is them hit a point where they're like, right, single player is as good as you could make a fighting game single player. Certainly that style of thing. Yeah. Because you're right, was it, was it Subspace Emissary or something Aye, from, like that? From Brawl. Right? Yeah, which was kind of boring. Boring. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't see where else they could go with it now beyond like, right, well, add even, even yeah. more characters. So I feel like this is kind of it for Smash, but yeah. I think I'm I'm happy with that. I think they've done amazingly. It's almost like when you played Mario Kart 8, and you're like, where do they go from now? But yeah. except except I suppose Mario Kart they just had me a fucking track. Mario Kart 8. <laughs> <laughs> He's right though. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Shigeru Miyamoto. <laughs> I've got an idea. Uh, yes, I'm fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> Yakuza 6 is the number one game of the year because it just feels big. it's more important than Yakuza Kiwami 2. Like you could mm -hmm. you could you could just about say that Yakuami 2 is a more advanced game, yeah. more polished and all that. But Yakuza 6 it's just after playing as Kazuma Kiryu for so long, mm -hmm. it's so nice to play his last chapter, mm -hmm. the last chapter of a long story in a video game series and it not be shit. Yeah. Like how how rare is that? How rare is it that yeah. you get the last chapter? It's actually really good, mm -hmm. really emotional, really well written, really tight. Actually, it's a really kind of it's a really mm -hmm. tightly written story. You know, it's not too yeah. flabby. Um, two beautiful cities to explore, an amazing fighting system with some of the funniest heat moves. I think the series has had. Fucking beat Takeshi. Yeah, uh, it fucking beat Takeshi in it as well. Just an amazing and the uh, fucking Haruto. Yeah, the whole game is just it's. it's 
it's a it's sad, a but it's thing. also joyous. It's yeah, amazing. it is. It's, yeah. I mean, we've, we've talked about it. Yeah, until we're did a whole live show about it and everything. But... Sick, sick and, oh fuck, so we did. Yeah. It's a great story. It, it, it brings all the themes of the Yakuza series all back to the basics. It's always been about family. It's always been about responsibility. Yeah. Um, and age, age, I think, is a big thing as well. Like, I mean, this one definitely deals more with the fact that, like, when Kazuma's out there and he's beating folk up, like, I'll, they're a lot younger yeah, than he is, yeah. and there's even a few fights where you're fighting folk who are younger, and they they kind of even after the fights they're like fine. To be honest, even though Kazuma's strong, it's like these younger guys are probably just as strong as he is now. I was just gonna say, Kazuma's like a typical baby boomer, just destroying the future <laughs> of all these poor millennials. Um, so. And the the end it builds up so well to like, obviously the ah, last really thing we ever want to do is spoil anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's it's an end that at times was really surprising. Um, in terms of where the characters go and no. what they experience. Um, and it still has silly moments, like there's a big reveal in Onomichi that is one of the daftest Things reveals so. of yeah. any video game ever. But I love it. But it's it's so fitting yeah. for that series. It's a beautiful game, I understand why it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I don't fucking drink tea. So. <laughs> no, I don't drink whiskey. Anyway, that's been our top five games of the year. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Let's get back and see what's in the telly and see in the bells, eh? Mm -hmm.